Welcome to our YouTube channel where wisdom meets inspiration. In this channel, we share valuable insights to help you become the best version of yourself. Our content is designed to uplift your spirit and enrich your life. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to stay connected with this incredible journey. Click the subscribe button below. Professor Seligman, an American psychologist who is in fact regarded as the father of the movement of uh, positive psychology. In the last 10-15 years it has really taken off. It's a branch, new branch of psychology and it's partly due to a professor called, an academician called Seligman, Martin Seligman. He says, you know, he looks about what makes people happy and he has developed this equation. Happy, H, happiness he says. The first thing which contributes to happiness, if you ask people, the first reaction would be things which give pleasure. Good food, good music, uh, company of good friends, entertainment, all of that. So he says the first component of, of happiness is pleasure, P. First component is pleasure, all kinds of sensory pleasures. But he says it's very limited. It is transitory. You need more, like a drug, you know, you need higher and higher fixes of that. So pleasure is a small component of happiness, but it is the first thing which comes to mind. More than pleasure, he says, what gives happiness to human life is what he calls engagement. Engagement. It might be in a career. It might be in your studies. It might be in a job, um, in a hobby. So, so for, for example, um, a person who likes playing, say tennis or something and devotes hours and hours of practice and all that for praying and is completely engaged in that and that gives happiness those of you I think most of you enjoy studies otherwise you wouldn't be here and you get this happiness out of engagement it's not sens sensory pleasure but it's a kind of happiness which comes from concentrated hard work there's a satisfaction in that so that's engagement some people get it out of their jobs whatever work they are doing Often you will find those who are doing research, academic research, many of, not all of them, but many of them get a lot of satisfaction by working in the lab. You know, they can spend hours and hours, days and days, months, years go by when they are deeply engaged. This is a condition called flow, uh, where they get a lot of happiness from work. So that is another component of, that is another component of happiness. Uh, this is Seligman's equation. And he says, sit down, oh, let it be there. It, it's uh, reflecting on that, you can't see. Okay, fine, I'll, I'll just um, read out what I'm writing. Then he says, beyond engagement, happiness comes from another thing, another factor, which he calls meaning in life, a purpose in life, a meaningful life. So, somebody like Gandhiji, or today Anna Hazari, or somebody, or Swami Vivekananda, they were doing things not for pleasure, they were not doing things because it was a hobby or a career for them, but they found deep purpose in life in what they were doing and that gave a lot of uh, happiness to them. So the M is meaning in life, a meaningful life. People who take up, you know, they throw up attractive careers and go and do social work. I know this boy, uh, this young man in Calcutta, is product of IIT Kharagpur, then I am Calcutta with an IIT and MBA from IIM. What he did was, he threw up a lucrative career in multinationals and he took these orphans from the streets of Calcutta and he set up this NGO called Parivar whereas he has um, some 400, 450 kids, orphans from different parts of West Bengal, Vinayak Lohani and he's not from West Bengal, he is from Madhya Pradesh in fact. Now why, why did he do that? Because, and he's happy, he's very happy, he finds meaning in it and a lot of people do that, they, find, they do what gives meaning to their lives. And this is Seligman's equation and with a lot of statistical surveys he has shown how this pleasure component is a very small part of happiness. If you take as 100%, this pleasure would count, count for a very small part of happiness. Engagement counts for more, it gives more happiness than pleasure and meaning gives the maximum amount of happiness. And the converse, if you don't have meaning in life, you don't have engagement, just pleasure will not fulfill you. Often the opposite can happen. If you are meaning in life then pleasure you can dispense with pleasure. 
you don't need that that pleasure that, that component um, I remember uh, an experiment which professor Seligman conducted he said he used to teach a course in psychology and he said that one day he told his psychology students that uh, today in the afternoon there are no classes you can all go and watch a movie in the theater nearby I'm very happy okay go to the movie but one condition you come back and then you have to fill up this questionnaire so they went to the movie and they came back and the students were asked to fill up this questionnaire where they were asked you rate your happiness the kind of pleasure you got from the movie on a scale one to five or something and they submitted the answers and they went back home next week again in the class the professor said that today in the afternoon we won't have a class we will all go to this particular area where poor kids live and we have toys and um, t-shirts and all which we will distribute to the poor kids there you know mix with them make friends with them and the whole class went to this area and they met those children and they spent the afternoon with the children and they came back and filled up this questionnaire answer this questionnaire again how happy it makes you on a scale of one to five then a few months later suddenly in the class after three or four months suddenly the professor what he did was you guys do you remember three months back we one afternoon you went to a movie so yeah now you rate yourself uh, you know rate, rate again, answer this question is how much happiness does that movie give you now right now how happy do you feel that you saw that movie some of them couldn't recall the name of the movie and many of them said yeah I mean I don't remember the happiness at all and you remember the next week we went to those children and we spent that afternoon with them we helped them out how much how happy does it make you feel now today three months later and all of them said we remember that and even till today when we think about it it makes us feel happy so it shows you that this meaning component is very powerful in in uh, happiness in a uh, total uh, you know scores more weightage is here little less here much less here but the point I want to make is some of you may have already guessed the correlation karma P pleasure Artha engagement roughly speaking not not an exact match but roughly speaking engagement Dharma again roughly speaking pretty close in fact meaning in life I don't know if anybody else has made this correlation but when I when I heard a talk you know there are these talks TED talks TED talks so Seligman has a talk there and you should see it very interesting he's a very good speaker very humorous um, I can't resist telling you how he began that talk though it is little you know, off the subject but anyway when he started the talk it was about positive psychology and he said uh, he started the joke he said I was interviewed by CNN uh, about psychology they asked me professor Seligman please tell us what is the status of psychology today and because this is CNN you get only one word soundbite so he said all right what is the state of psychology today good then the interviewer said no 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 cut 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 it explain a little more yeah. I'll ask you again you explain you just dilate a little more on the subject all right how many words two words ready professor Seligman what is the status of psychology today not good <laughs> the interview was taken aback <laughs> good next not good no 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 it's not clear you have to explain a little more okay how much three words <laughs> professor Seligman what is the state of psychology today not good enough and that was the subject of the talk how psychology is good how it is not good and how it can be better so that's how I began the talk and I'm, uh, I'm sure you can look it up in uh, TED website uh, Seligman but my point is ancient Indian thought and what modern psychology is coming to you can see a convergence you can very clearly see the convergence all of this is for happiness karma is because it makes me happy Artha wealth it is for happiness for my happiness even Dharma I say it is for you I am doing this work for you I am doing it for the underprivileged people I am doing it for people who are suffering but ultimately it makes me happy I am satisfied with it it is because it, I'm, I do it for my satisfaction so all this is for happiness 
And here Seligman says happiness has these components. Become Swami Vivekanandas messenger. Share the video with three of your friends.